Okay, so on Elon Musk, here's what I have. First, I'll start by saying what I don't have, which is his birth time. I only know his birth date. But from what I can see in this chart, and in the context of what is going on in the world, the trends that I'm spotting on the political level and on the national level and on the world level, which we always have to adapt to, and even billionaires have to adapt to such trends. For example, ask Russian oligarchs what that's like. Conditions can change such that something that was working really, really well, all of a sudden starts to work very poorly, even catastrophically. And I think Elon Musk entering into this Twitter acquisition is making a mistake because his motivations relate to the idea that he thinks he understands free speech, which I don't, which I don't think he does. And more problematically, he's appearing to side with the right wing faction, which I could also say alternatively, as he's siding with the idiots. It's never a good idea to do that, especially when the trends are pulling in the opposite direction. We're now seeing polls that show the Republican Party noticing their numbers going down on account of people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Madison Cawthorn, etc. In other words, the nut jobs. And in a sense, this is what Musk is appealing to. He's saying, well, why can't such people say whatever they want on Twitter? Why can't Trump come back on and spew his usual garbage? Well, because if it incites violence, it's dangerous. That's why. However, just looking at his chart, what he's doing that I think is a big problem for him is that he is stepping outside his natural lane. He has a Saturn in Gemini opposite Neptune in Sagittarius opposition, which has actually served them well from the perspective of building amazing cars. Gemini is the sign of transportation and the sign of cars literally opposite Neptune. He is in a sense, in a very real sense, manifesting a dream around this particular, this particular thing, this particular area, and he's done it very well. And you can then add Mercury square Uranus at birth for a brilliant mind, but that which could tilt to the juvenile and to the rebellious without a good cause. That's one of the problems with, with a Uranus square in any chart, to Mercury or anything else. In the case of Mercury, it's describing a kind of immature mind. And the reason I say he's stepping outside his natural lane is, his natural lane is to be an engineer, to make great cars, Saturn opposite Neptune, Mercury square Uranus, for the innovation and for the electricity, interestingly enough, with, with the Uranus. But now he's moving into an alternative path for that Saturn Neptune, which is media, which is something that is also Gemini connected. But he fancies himself to be a media expert, just like he's a car expert, and he's not. And I think he's misreading the situation. And so as the transits move in over the next while, he's going to find out. The first one is in the fall when the transiting Saturn uh, through Aquarius, goes over his Mars. And that's not great. That spells pushback, restrictions, problems. And then as we move into next year, Saturn enters Pisces and will trigger that Sagittarius-Gemini opposition, Neptune and Saturn, via square. That's actually worse. It delineates increasing problems, and then if we look further into the future, we await the entry of Saturn into Aries in 2025, 2026, whereupon it's going to trigger 
the most critical part of this chart, which is that Eris opposite Uranus square Mercury Sun T square. And I would consider that to be especially tricky and especially prone to bringing him down in a significant way. Of course, he did quite well with Saturn and Capricorn when it was triggering that same T square during the pandemic years. But this is where astrology functions in context, meaning the context then was correct. He was doing what he's best suited for, namely fabricating great electrical cars. The area of media is not his arena. This is like when Michael Jordan, great athlete, decided he would go from being a superb basketball player to playing baseball. Of course, he was going to do better than you or me at any sport because he's a great athlete, but not well enough to succeed. This is the same logic with, with Musk here. His head has gotten too big. My feeling is now he's going to discover that he's made a mistake and that not everything is as easy as it seems. Let's just say that. 